This Dix Hills family was preparing for a college send-off for their honor student daughter. But all that changed when 17-year-old Veronica Baracci, who had her driver's license less than three weeks, turned herself in and was arrested for leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. First, let me say how sorry we are for the Rodriguez family. We cannot express our condolences deeply enough. And I know my daughter feels the same. Just after midnight, 32-year-old Sayer Rodriguez was walking home from work along a Greenlaw street with his girlfriend when struck by the passenger side mirror of Barachi's vehicle, say police, and collapsed in the road. It was a very dark area on Broadway. Indicated that she did stop. She looked, uh, she actually spoke to a female, uh, found that the female was um, not injured and uh, drove away. Uh, she didn't understand the seriousness of what, what happened until the next morning when she saw it on the news. Rodriguez rented a room in a house on a quiet Green Lawn Street and worked in the kitchen of this Northport restaurant where bosses and co-workers said he had a heart of gold, infectious laugh, and big personality. He was a integral part of the success of this restaurant is going to be sorely missed. Baracci graduated from Comac High School in June, is a champion ice skater. She and her family were featured in the newspaper with their award-winning show dogs and with the American Kennel Club. Baracci's a lover of science. Here she is on YouTube with her latest experiment. She was to attend SUNY Potsdam on an academic scholarship as a triple major. She has never been anything but a joy for us. She was at a girlfriend's house in, in uh, Huntington and they were actually cooking uh, cookies and cupcakes and things like that. She was no drinking involved. There's no allegation of drinking or, or texting. Inexperienced driver who panicked, he said, the consequences of her decision life-altering. Now two, two tragic families have to live with this for the rest of their lives. It's terrible. It is unclear if victim Sayer Rodriguez's body will be flown back to his native Honduras for burial. From Huntington, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Veronica Baracci was released on a $100,000 bond. Prosecutors say she was charged in the accident because she left the scene implying a cover-up.